It's a simple recipe with astonishing results. A spray designed to combat caterpillars uses only three natural ingredients. Even more amazing is the inventor's age. They're everywhere, caterpillars. But with three simple ingredients, 8th grader Daniel O'Reilly may have found a way to kill them. Well, if you look on the wood ash under the microscope, it has sharp edges that last through the exoskeleton of the caterpillar and then has a compound called potassium hydroxide, which just then goes inside and the caterpillars die of suffocation. If you didn't understand any of that, don't feel too bad. Daniel's a bit of a whiz kid. He took home the gold medal in the National Science Fair in Lethbridge earlier this month. While the science behind it may be complicated, the ingredients aren't. Though one remains a secret since Daniel may patent his creation. When he was at National, someone did put the bit of a bug in his ear that possibly he should look at something like that. And it's just to protect his future endeavors, should this go anywhere. With one spray, you can see the caterpillars react. The fuzz falls off and eventually they suffocate. The recipe may be new to us, but it's actually very old. My father, he's 80 years old and he immigrated here from a very small village in Croatia. And they used home natural remedies for many different types of cures. He told me about like his story how when he was younger he would get lice and his sister would take the wood ash and he would scrub it into his hair. So then uh, the year before I tested that on the head lice and I learned most of like how the ingredients worked then. So now this year I just improved it and tested it on the caterpillars. Another bonus to the spray, it's completely natural. I have tea tree oil and then I put in rainwater and I have one of these wood ashes. It took over 200 hours of research for Daniel to perfect his spray. For now, he's only making batches for his family while he waits out the patent process, but he has big plans for the future. In the future, maybe I would like to manufacture my spray and test it on dedicated wood lots and test it on like seasonal testing and maybe in the future sell it. Kelly Lonahan, ZKPG News.